hey welcome back to my channel in today's video we are switching things up a bit and making it more of a homemaking kind of vlog if you like this kind of content please let me know below so that i can keep making more of it and if you're new around here my name is melissa i am military wife to my husband julian and mother to two daughters and we are originally from los angeles california but we are now living in italy and I like to post motherhood, lifestyle, and family vlogs. So if that sounds interesting, then please subscribe because I would love to have you stick around. So throughout this video, you'll be seeing me unpack and open these items and also use some of them. I will link and have the names of all the products below in case you are interested in any of them. So be sure to check that out. So in love with my new wooden tiered tray that I recently purchased on Amazon and I'm going to try to add as much decor as I can for fall if you don't already know in Italy fall decor is not a big thing so it's very hard to find things so I am definitely looking forward to going back to America and do some shopping at TJ Maxx and Target I definitely miss those stores a whole lot and also I recently ordered from a seller, a local seller, some cute little pieces that I'm going to add to my tray once they're ready. A lot of my decor that you will see today is very minimal because like I said, it's very hard finding items and it takes so long to order and have delivered. So I decided just to hold off until next year when we are back in America. Didn't care for one another, you and I, you and I Thought I was okay, till something in me changed Don't know why, don't know why You got me high, but I'm sober You make me lonely when I'm by myself we needed new sets of glass cups because some of ours have broken and I like to have the same style for most of my cups. So I picked up some that are a little bit bigger and some that are a little bit smaller and they're just perfect because they're dainty and they're easy to hold and they're perfect for the girls to use as well. So I am just loading them in the dishwasher to get them ready to wash before we use them. I also picked up this strainer because I love that you can set it on your sink and it won't touch the bottom of it so I can easily pour some pasta to drain here as well as veggies and fruits. Next I'm going to show you guys how I make my homemade caramel for my iced coffee which you can also use the caramel for many other things. But you start with one cup of sugar and you put it over medium low heat in a saucepan and just be careful not to stir too much it's important to not mix it too much because then it can just clump up and it doesn't melt properly but just allow it to melt on its own mostly and then once it's all completely melted you will add six tablespoons of unsalted butter try to let it cool um, warm up a little bit on your countertop before 
pan so that it's not super cold it will bubble up a bunch but that's okay that's the way it's supposed to be so once you completely mix that in add half a cup of cream and a half teaspoon of salt and completely mix everything and then you can pour it out onto your container and let it completely cool you can also add more salt if you feel like you need it or vanilla extract or anything else like you can think of maybe some pumpkin spice if you want it to be like a pumpkin spice caramel type of flavor i'm going to make my iced coffee i start off by drizzling some of my caramel around the cup and then i like to add the ice and some strong coffee or add some espresso it's important that the coffee is strong when you make iced coffee because if not it ends up tasting very watered down i also added some caramel creamer from the starbucks brand and topping it off with some homemade whipped cream as well and going to drizzle some yummy caramel over it it tastes amazing just like a starbucks caramel iced coffee The night before, I decided to use my new IKEA roasting pan for dinner. I decided to make some chicken wings. This pan is perfect for making chicken wings because it is lifted above due to the rack above it so they don't become soggy and they can get a little bit more toasty. I started with two pounds of chicken wings and I added some baking powder, cornstarch, chili powder, salt and pepper, garlic and onion salt. And I started with about two teaspoons of baking powder and cornstarch and I pretty much freehanded the rest of the ingredients. I then sprayed the pan with cooking oil and I laid out the chicken wings and then I popped them in the oven at 425 degrees Fahrenheit for about 30 minutes but make sure to cook them until they're ready and halfway through make sure to flip them over so that they can get toasty on the other side as well. I decided to try making some Asian zing sauce which I had never made before but I'm so glad I did because it turned out so yummy so what you do to make the sauce is you add one tablespoon of soy sauce one tablespoon of rice vinegar one tablespoon of sriracha half a teaspoon of crushed pepper flakes but just make sure to add less pepper flakes and sriracha sauce if kids will be eating it and also one tablespoon of sesame seed oil and some salt I minced some garlic, about two cloves of garlic, and I sauteed them for a minute on the pan, and then I added the sauce. I was able to toss about a dozen chicken wings in the sauce, so if you want more sauce, make sure to make double this recipe if you need it. I also poured out some of my favorite barbecue sauce from our local grocery store, and I tossed some more wings in there, just in case the girls were not into the Asian zing sauce. 
wings, but they actually ended up loving them. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and you got some food ideas or item ideas to help organize your home or maybe even make it a little bit more fall-ish. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you soon. Okay guys, so this mop was standing there in the corner because I mopped yesterday and let it dry out there for I to get outside. And I served Pina his food, which is right next to the mop. I moved the mop out of the way. And there's a frog! And I think it's been hiding under here. And I don't know how it came in. I think maybe when Daddy was opening the door last night, it probably, I don't know. Mom's camera died, so we're recording okay, with her phone. Look. No. I can't get that close. What you that? If you did it ready, it will kill it. I know. But it would have fallen. It is right She is. She wants to cry. Oh, what if it hops? Mom, that's what a frog is. I can't do this. Do it, do it, do it. But what do I do? Use that the broom for revenge. <laughs> She's not touching it. She's doing it. If you didn't ready, it will be out. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. Ah! Oh. You grab him. Ah! It's light like shows. Pina, go. go ahead Come here, Pina. Go around to just get it. No, stay, stay. Why is it so good? It's going to the trash bag I threw out.